Here we have gum disease with uh, the analysis of the biofilms. So we see a lot of white cell then. We see uh, some uh, brush pattern with actinomyces uh, bacteria. We see again uh, white cell, so there is infection, inflammation at least, many bacteria, active bacteria. And then we see uh, amoeba nest, protozoa nest, uh, where they live uh, with the uh, actinomyces uh, fibers, uh, actinomyces uh, filaments. And you see many uh, white cell, uh, denucleated white cell, amoeba that are feeding on the nucleus of the white cell. Uh, really a vampire uh, parasite that are very active uh, into the gum sulcus when you have uh, gum disease. We see some uh, baby ones, uh, some with many um, uh, nucleus of uh, white cell inside, many baby ones on the top right. Uh, a lot of activity, uh, phagocytosis going on, uh, many cell, many uh, baby parasite. Uh, they live on the uh, activity uh, there. So it is very impressive to see uh, this uh, activity in uh, gum disease. So if you want to cure the disease, you have to get rid of all this because this is not uh, really not compatible with uh, health. So you see again uh, amoeba uh, in uh, full activity, uh, phagocytosis of the, of the upper uh, amoeba of uh, nucleus. Uh, they are moving along with the bacteria. Sometimes you see the uroid uh, uh, at the end of the parasite, at the end of the amoeba. Uh, so you see many cells inside, so they, have, they do a phagocytosis. You see how, uh, how it is? It's really like a larva that is going on and walking into the, the gum. So this is uh, very impressive. See the uroid here? at the end of the amoeba. Um, bacteria, spirochetes, amoeba again, uh, amoeba with many uh, nucleus inside. See how they react, how they are very active in the biofilm. Uroid again at the end of the amoeba. So this is uh, uh, some little uh, baby ones here. So this is very uh, incompatible with health. So get rid of this uh, biofilm because it's not uh, uh, really not uh, possible with health so